Okay, so I uploaded a little like rant video before because I was having a bit of trouble doing a trailer reaction. Um, first time I did it, didn't record because I went full screen on the video and somehow the camera just cut out. Second time, there was no audio on my end with the microphone because apparently I I must have loosened like slight like slightly pulled out my earphones I could still hear stuff but somehow the mic didn't record I'm not sure what that was about so I am gonna do things differently this time try to keep it a little uh, try to keep it quick too because I do have other things to do today like schoolwork and stuff so I'm just gonna try and I'm not even sure actually when this video is gonna go up it might be a day or so because I have other things to do and it's gonna I'm not uh skilled in the video editing field I mean I don't think it should be that hard to do like a video and pictures because because that's what I'm gonna do I'm just I took a couple screenshots from the trailer just to make some comment like kind of the the main comments that I noticed when I tried to do the reaction the first two times so um I'm just gonna do that and somehow my my computer is kind of messing up and I don't like I'm not you're gonna hear a lot of clicking because the com somehow when I open the photos they're not quite in order but they're gonna be in order when I actually put this video together somehow someday <laughs> so, some way someday whatever so okay so the first one that I have open here, sorry, is from the very, very like beginning of the trailer. It is a shot of Superman. It's a shot, I mean, it's definitely a shot that they made for Justice League, but it's from the events of Batman v Superman. I guess it's actually kind of interesting if like all of Zack Snyder's movies kind of open like in the timeline of the last because Batman v Superman opened with the events of Man of Steel, but it was from Batman's perspective, or Bruce's perspective. So this is a like slowed down, deeper version, uh, in depth rather, version <laughs> of when Superman gets killed by Doomsday. And you could have, you see these sonic like waves kind of echoing off or coming out from like his mouth because his scream, as we've heard, is so loud it wakes the mother boxes and I think that's a really cool detail and I think that's really cool to highlight that you know with this visual but I also just took the screenshot because I okay it's sad to see Superman in such pain and it sucks to see him in his dying moment but I think Henry Cavill's acting is phenomenal he's really selling this anguish and you know like this this pain really and it's a shame that he has not gotten more work in the years I obviously there's rumors that he's like difficult to work with and he has an ego and stuff and I know apparently he had some his negotiations with Warner Brothers to come back as Superman were kind of difficult but like why is this man not getting more work I he I'm sorry I'm burping the only thing he has done outside of this franchise well I mean the only thing he's done since leaving the franchise because mission impossible came out like shortly after the justice league um the only other things he's done was with netflix it was the witcher which obviously was a huge hit for the service and that uh enola holmes where he played sherlock why isn't he getting more work he's such a good actor and he was just a supporting role in enola too sorry i am hitting the desk it's shaking I, I, he's such a good actor it's it's crazy to me i'm sorry my nose hold on Sorry, I paused just to wipe my nose a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, I just, I don't understand why he's not getting more work. It's weird. Okay, next one, sorry. Um, next image that I wanted to capture, I believe, uh, sorry, I had to click a little bit. I think this is what came next, is an image of the, I believe it's the Gotham skyline. Because they show in the beginning of the trailer, they have Superman in, you know, dying pain and he's screaming and they show how far his screams uh reach they don't show the mother boxes i think they're gonna save that for the movie uh, the waking of the mother boxes that is but i just i just wanted to share this because it's a really cool obviously 
gothic dark look at Gotham. Um, I don't really know if we've ever, I don't remember if we've, how much we've seen of the Gotham skyline in Batman v Superman. I mean, I'm sure there's a couple, there's at, some shots of it, but it's just, it's really gorgeous. I, I almost want to like find an upscale, up, upscaled version of this and make it like my wallpaper. It's stunning. Uh, the next one, I just wanted a quick screenshot of Bruce in this nightmare timeline and night as in kn because dark night i love that labeling um i just think i i think he looks great it's so good to see ben again and also based i think this might be from like the same part of the scene as the end of the trailer which would mean that this is probably a additional photography from uh, what they did in Back in the Fall, and that means, you know, it's Ben back in the suit, and he's back playing Batman, like, new in 2020, and oh, he just looks so good, he looks so healthy, oh, I just, I want him to come back, I want more, I, I want this universe to continue, and I'm obviously not alone in that, I just, ah, uh, fingers crossed, I pray, um, so, okay, now I think these are in order, the next one I have is... <laughs> I don't know actually what to label this. It's like Darkseid's Hall, I guess, with, um, are those parademons? I, I actually, I don't know, but it looks, it kind of almost looks like a church with this really long aisle. I, I don't know, it's just very grand. That's why I saved it. It's grand, it's, it's high scale, it looks absolutely incredible and cinematic. You, mo this is probably almost all entirely CGI and it looks, so realistic. It looks so good. I mean, if this movie doesn't get some awards, we're going to have some problems, Hollywood. So, yeah, that that's kind of all I have to say about that. Because I don't actually know what's going on here, so I can't say more than that. Um, the next one I got is... I, I meant to get two screenshots from this scene, but I, I messed up because I was trying really hard to grab this one. It's Barry saving Iris uh, from, I guess, a car crash, a car accident. Um... I think she was in the car though like it, it's not like she's a pedestrian getting hit I think she was in the car and she got like sent out I don't know there's like two kind of different versions apparently I think of Barry saving her but I just oh, Ezra's face it's so his expression is so soft he looks so in love with her it's like a perf this should be the thumbnail considering that it's Valentine's Day this should be the thumbnail of the trailer because he looks so in love with her I cannot wait to have a new version of Barry and Iris because I kind of got tired of them from the TV show I got tired of the TV show period but I just kind of grew to you know dislike almost every character on that show so I'm just I'm so happy to have a new version of these characters to root for and watch them hopefully fall in love. I mean, I know Zach planned a trilogy for the Justice League, so maybe they won't actually fall in love in this part, but just, oh, he's already, he's already in love. You can tell he's pining for her. Um, next one is, again, I believe these are in the order from the trailer. If not, I apologize. Um, it's the first flight black suit edition with Clark he looks really good and I'm not just saying that because I have a crush on Henry Cavill I'm just saying the suit looks amazing the cape the way it's sitting is so good uh sorry I mean better adjectives but his hair also like it's even though it's slicked you could kind of see the curls in it but I don't know if this is from the original shoot it's probably from the original shoot it's I don't I I think the only as, they said there was only like four minutes of additional photography and I don't think they said Henry reported for additional photography. I think they only reported, actually from what I've heard the reports, it might only have just been additional nightmare uh, photography. It was like Jared, Joe, Amber, Ben, and Ray, I think. So I don't think Henry was involved at all. So this is definitely from the original shoot of the movie. It just looks really good. Uh, another image that it's like, I want to upscale this and make it like my lock screen on my phone. Like the other, the Gotham is my, would be my uh, computer wallpaper. This would be my phone wallpaper. It's so good. Um, and, oh, this is from Barry's, this running sequence from Barry. And I want, I wanted to take this cause I wanted to say, I, cause we, we, I apologize if there's any sort of spoilers for the movie. I obviously, 
because this is a movie that kind of no one thought they were actually going to get to see, we've kind of heard a lot about the plot at this point. And I'm not actually sure if I heard this, if this was said from Zach or if it was just like someone who saw a test screening or something. But I believe in this movie, I think there is a version, like, like I think this movie is going to show Barry exploring his time travel abilities, which is obviously going to be a perfect time for his solo movie because that's supposed to be like Flashpoint. Uh, or at least where he discuss like where this is kind of like the good version of time travel altering uh, history. That'll be kind of like how he could screw up in doing it. So I think there's I think what's going to happen here. Um, okay, so what I think I I believe I've heard happens is the Justice League loses against Steppenwolf, and I think most of the team gets wiped out except I guess somehow Barry survives and he has to travel through time go backwards in time and undo that and save his friends and give them and I guess you know he knows he'll know kind of I guess like did Endgame do the same thing with time travel where it's like he kind of knows um how they lose so then he and like what Steppenwolf's defenses are so that they can kind of fix things and then uh do it better the second time around um but I I think this is him going back in time and like we're in the speed force and I think he's like recreating or rather creating this new reality like in another shot of him running you can kind of see the ground forming beneath his feet um so yeah I just wanted to explain all of that this shot is also, I, I saved this one in particular because it's gorgeous and we also, have, I don't believe, have seen it before. So, yeah. Wow, this video is getting kind of long. I'm sorry. Oh, it's, this is kind of a trailer breakdown, I guess. Kind of like Grace Randolph. Hi, Grace Randolph, if you ever watch this. <laughs> Big fan. Um, okay, and then, so the next one, obviously, I didn't get a lot of screenshots from this video, even though this, vi this break breakdown is still kind of getting long. I'm not professional. I just want to do some commentary. Here's the logo. It looks incredible. I'm sorry. Again, I apologize. I'm probably using the same adjectives 5,000 times in this video. I'm trying to do some different ones, throw some new ones in there, but oh well. Um, I saw someone on Twitter point out that, the, and I, maybe this was designed that way on purpose, but it kind of looks not like the original Justice League logo, but it kind of looks along the line. Sorry, I feel like gas. There it is. Um, I, it kind of looks like the logos we got back in, what was it, like 2014-ish or 2015? Like when they first announced Batman v Superman, they announced this entire DC, I don't know if they ever officially called it Extended Universe, but this DC film lineup where it was interconnected films. And it was, you know, it was, well, after Man of Steel. So it was Batman v Superman, it was Suicide Squad, it was all three parts of Justice League, I think a Cyborg solo, a Green Lantern movie, Shazam, which we did wind up getting, um, and a Flash movie, and Aquaman. Um, and, and they were all kind of these, like all the logos kind of looked like they went together. They were all kind of these darker sort of gritty logos. And this sort of looks like those, and it fits with that. Um, I'm not going to say I'm like reading into it and thinking the Snyderverse is restored. I'm not even going to get into all that drama about how Warner Brothers sabotaged Snyder, but um, it's interesting. It, go it goes well with that. It, I would hope that maybe that means there's some chance of restoring the Snyderverse, but I mean, I don't personally, and sorry, I was playing with the drawer thing. Um, personally, I don't think the Snyderverse ever, ever fully died. Like, I don't, so I've heard, I think, is the, so I think I've heard is that the other directors from the DC movies, like, they've, they've all just tossed out that Justice League as, uh, canon. Like, they don't consider that canon. Not that they've really seen Justice League, but, but, you know, none of the other movies really acknowledge Justice League, except Aquaman, which has, like, a brief comment about fighting Steppenwolf, which obviously does happen here. So, and it's, oh, and it's a different origin story. I think Aquaman gets the trident here and kind of has an origin story within this. And obviously Aquaman is a little different, but I don't know, alternate time. Like you could say that, I don't know, when Barry goes back in time and changes things that it creates this other thing, like 
I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I, I still think you could, like, connect the existing DC movies to this, and I think it would still, for the most part, work together pretty seamlessly, for the most part. And then, okay, so the last screenshot I have is the big reveal at the end. It was almost like, it almost reminded me a little bit of the big reveal at the end of the Morbius trailer, speaking of Jared Leto, because, where we all saw, um, what's his name? I mean, I know it's Michael Keaton, but I forget the character's name. Um, Vulture, Adrian some, Toomes? That's it, Adrian Toomes. And he just kind of appears and everyone's like, oh my God, it's connected to the Spider-Verse. Um, I mean the Marvel's more MCU Spider Verse, but so so the, that's kind of what it reminded me of. It it's kind of, it feels appropriate because it was Jared Leto. Um, you know, I I didn't write down the full thing that he says, the full quote, but he says the words "We live in a society," which apparently I didn't know this. I I kind of thought it was an actual line from Joker, but I've never actually seen the Dark Knight trilogy in full. I've seen the first one. I haven't watched the other two. I mean, the first one is Batman Begins. I never watched the other two movies in that trilogy, but apparently it's never actually been a canon line from the Joker in the comics, I guess, or the movies or the TV shows or whatever. And it, it's just a meme, I guess. And um, so, so people are like, oh, look, Zach's kind of trolling us because he worked that into this movie. And there, there's like another meme. Um... I, th I think it just stemmed from the Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie, but there's another one where he, like, basically is like, I'm going to become the Joker. And so people are joking now about what if Zack works that into this movie, too. I don't think he would, um, especially because he is already the Joker here, because I think this is all that this is all that they have, I think, with Leto in the movie is the Nightmare Timeline. So, um, sorry, my, I'm, I'm a little, like, strung out from all this recording stuff. So, ugh. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, like, Zach's... I admire Zach for doing that. I think it was very creative of him to do that. And I think, uh, even though I can't quote the full line, I didn't write it down, it actually it works in, in, the con in the full context of that phrase. Like, in the full context of the full line, it works. And also, I mean, look at him. He looks so good. I think... I can't necessarily say this is the best Joker look because I... I really adore Joaquin Phoenix's Joker look. I also have not watched that movie. I'm a chicken. I think it's going to scare me too much. Um, but he just, for this universe, for this timeline, for these events, he looks really good. I, I really like the long hair because it's, you know, the Leto staple. And I, I noticed that when he was posting selfies in the fall that he never cut his hair. And I was like, when are you going to cut your hair? When are you going to dye it green? We know you're going to go back for these shoots. And it's like, he didn't. I think, did he, I don't I can't even tell if he shaved his eyebrows. They might've just covered them up. Like, I think all he did was shave his beard. Cause I don't, it doesn't look like, Joker looks clean shaven there. I think, I think he's clean shaven. Yeah. So anyways, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm burning out here. I'm also, my stomach is growling. I'm so hungry. Anyways. So that's going to conclude my commentary. I'm, Sorry, I was clicking around. I just went back to the logo and that might be how I end the video. This is very amateur, very unedited. Raw footage. Ooh, anyways. Uh, well, wow, we're clocking out at about 19-ish minutes. So that was it. Uh, that was a journey <laughs> to get to this. And again, um, well, you're, you're not going to see this commentary, but I'm not sure when this is going to go up. Don't, it's probably not going to be Sunday, but... Um, this is a little interesting trailer. I'm gonna watch other breakdowns for this trailer because I probably missed a lot of cool stuff. It went so fast. The trailer was epic. I mean, the music was epic. That's what I meant. The trailer music was epic. See how this is unprofessional? Anyways, that was fun. I cannot wait to watch this movie next month. Um, thankfully it comes out over my spring break. So I will be able to have the time to watch it, hopefully. I mean, I'm gonna have another class by then, but, um... I'm not going to go into details about that, but um, I should have the time to watch this that day, hopefully, especially if I get up early. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for today. <laughs> I don't know how to wrap this up. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's all. 
awesome trailer. Can't wait to watch this movie. Zack Snyder, you're a genius, a king. I love everything you do. Bye, guys.